guitar we have a great song here from the killer roy and little mosey called hotel so we'll look at this uh, cool melody here this lick going on and we have four chords that backs it up we will look at the strumming pattern for those four chords as well so let's start this one up we have a cape on first fret that will be the easiest scenario for us to handle all this so cape on first and we'll first look at the chords so it goes in F, D minor, A minor, and G. So the first chord, F here, it's a bar chord. Bar placed on the first fret over all strings, and then the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. We have next chord here, the D minor, that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. A minor next. It's open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And the final chord is G. So that is third on E, second A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. Okay, so, um, yeah, we will take a look at this uh, strumming pattern. We can go with that first. So if we grab this first chord, it's F will be down down clap up up and that will be kind of the rhythm here you will notice that lately uh, later uh, when we uh, look at the, the notes there all right so it will fit very well to the notes so anyway the f now down down clap up up so down down clap up up that is one round. Then you switch to the next chord, leave the same. D minor, and then A minor, and G. Gonna play like that through the entire song. So one strum around per chord, and the corporation will be F, D minor, A minor, and G. So it sounds like this together. it's very hard to get from D minor uh, sorry from F to D minor uh, one uh, technique stuff there will be well just on uh, tricks there will be to keep your middle finger here uh, on the second fret G string so from the F here you don't release it and you just go down to the D minor All right you see it's there so you can just practice this move here and soon you will be very comfortable with that switch there from F to D minor because it's uh, pretty common to have that back and forth between these two chords so all right uh, so that's the chords and how you handle the strumming pattern now into the more uh, picking style here we'll go chord by chord so So we'll start with F now. You will have this start that will be the easiest start. So first fret on the E string and second fret on the G string. And yeah, the first part will sound like this. All right. So first fret E string, second fret G, then back to first fret E, then open G and 
third D. Okay, so that's the F part. And you notice here, um, usually use one finger per fret here, but this time for this uh, specific uh, picking here, I release this finger I'm using on the second fret G string and I go up to the third fret D string, all right? Um, so that is because we need to spread out our fingers a little bit more in the next grip. So I'm just preparing for the next grip like this. Otherwise it would be much easier to just go like this or just keep the finger here. All right, but now we need to stretch out in the next grip. So that's why I'm releasing this one and go up to the third fret D string. Some technique, technique stuff there as well. Uh, all right, so that's the F part. Now we're into the D minor part. Uh, this part goes like this. Okay, so the D here, it will get that from the fifth fret A string. So we start there. And you now have this finger you get from this least to the third for D string. You have now read it on spot there for the next. So third D, back to fifth A, then second D, and open D. So that was the D minor part. Again, fifth A, third D, fifth A, second D, open D. And then you go with the same pattern, but you just move up one string. So the A minor part will now will be this. So that is fifth on E, third on A, back to fifth on E, second A, and open A. So the exact same pattern as the D minor, you just move it up one string. And then we have finally the uh, the f uh, this G part here. All right. Uh, so that will be third fret on E string, second on A, third on E, open A, and third on E. From this A minor, you go to, to G, like we just uh, mentioned. Uh, one natural thing to do here is to go on the third fret E string and work with that with my middle finger, since I'm coming from this position here, from the A minor, I'm just on the spot there with the middle finger, but I'm now using instead my ring finger for this third fret E. I'm working with these two fingers for the second and third frets here on the G part. Why? Because, again, for the next round, I'm ready with my index finger here for the F parts, all right? So if I'm going from this very um, comfortable position here from the A minor, then it will be harder for me to get reach out to this F like this, all right? So I'm always preparing for the next grip, so that's the reason for I'm moving from this position here, A minor, uh, and I place my ring finger here on the G parts and work with this and then I'm ready for the next round here. So that's pretty much uh, the middle here. I'm gonna take you through one round slowly and I'm gonna speed up to standard tempo for the second round. So let's go. So hope you enjoyed this. You can go back and forth with the strumming or uh, yeah, with the melody here and jump into whatever you want to do. So hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I hope you will come back here to Goring Guitar. If you love tutorials like this, please thumb up, leave me a comment, and until next time, play tuned. <laughs>